next video, I'm pitting three grocery stores against each other to see which one has the best options for backpacking meals. It's Kroger versus Trader Joe's versus Whole Foods in a battle royale. Ah! This is my show, gosh darn. Here are the rules. I'll have a $50 budget, a 30 minute time limit, and I'll have to create two full days worth of backpacking meals, and all that food has to be non-perishable and healthy. For under $50. For under $50. That's $25 a day for the math people out there, which comes to, wait, hold on. $8.33 per meal. In this economy? <laughs> I'm judging each store based on their value, their ease of shopping experience, and the quality of food. We're gonna start right away with store number one, which is Kroger. QFC is our Kroger chain here in Seattle, and we have $50 and 30 minutes to go shopping. Money, money, money. Time starts now. Obviously, Kroger food is gonna be far less expensive than what I'm gonna find at Whole Foods, but the variety is also really different. I wanna see if I can get food that's nutritious, packable, and stuff that I'm excited to eat. I'm looking for oatmeal. Ooh, here we go. Okay, maple brown sugar. That'll work. I am gonna look for some Smart Sweets, which are my favorite gummy candies. Two packets of Smart Sweets. Granola bars. There are a lot of options, almost like too many options. <laughs> Probably just get go macro bars. All right, on to coffee. Oh, yes, they have Ferv. Wow, the six servings is $16. Whereas eight packets of Starbucks is only $6. That's what we're getting. I need to quickly get something for lunch and for dinner. It's like 30 minutes seems like a lot of time and then 10 minutes goes by. I'm like, oh my God, <laughs> like not even a third done. Tuna is awesome because it's really cheap. It's like a dollar. So I haven't found anything for dinner. I haven't even found anything that looks like remotely reasonable for dinner. <laughs> so I'm starting to get a little bit nervous about that. Running out of time very fast. I need to find peanut butter. Justin's. Boom. All right. You're done. Well, let's check out. After a fairly stressful shopping experience, here is the food that I finally came away with. I wound up spending $50.12. For breakfast, I was very insistent on getting coffee. Starbucks via instant coffee packets. As far as oatmeal goes, this is one of the things where the first box of oatmeal that I picked up seemed like a fairly good deal, but it was just way too expensive when I got to the register. I swapped it out for the, how much was this oatmeal? $1.79 for this box. For the whole box? For the whole box. How many packets are in there? There are 10 pouches of oatmeal in here. Cheap, cheap, cheap. For lunch, I actually am recently no longer vegan, and so I'm kind of like going back to some of my original favorite backpacking and lunch foods, which is tuna packets and tortillas. So I got these two different flavors of tuna packets. We have the Thai chili and we have the lemon pepper. These are only 80 or 90 calories per pouch. So my plan was each day to have two tuna packets for lunch, along with mini street taco sized tortillas. What I like to do is like put some tuna in my tortilla, make a little tuna taco, eat a couple of these for my lunch. I also am of the opinion that like if you eat smaller things, I feel like I enjoy eating more of them. Like wouldn't you rather eat eight tiny brownies than one huge brownie? So that is my lunch. As far as my snacks go, I actually got some fresh apples. Fruit like this is actually a great option because apples keep for a really long time and you can eat the entire apple. So you don't have anything you have to like throw away or carry out with you. And if you're wondering, yes, there is some arsenic in the apple seeds, but it won't kill you. So you can eat the whole thing. For the rest of my snacks, go macro bars, which are some of my very favorite protein bars that you can find. My personal favorite flavor is Everlasting Joy. And I also got these protein pucks. These were actually on sale. They wound up being really cheap for the amount of calories that I get per puck. The flavor of this one is Daily Bliss. And the flavor of this one is Good Vibes. <laughs> oh my God. I fully expect that candy in front of you to be flavored like Bali Sunrise. <laughs> I also got some Smart Sweets. What I love about Smart Sweets is that they only have three or four grams of sugar per bag. They're high in dietary fiber, so they're great for making you poop, and they taste good. These were really just purely for fun, not for a good idea. Could have just got more tuna. And last but not least, we have dinner. At first for dinner, I had this like brilliant idea to have like couscous and dehydrated mushrooms and like all sorts of fun stuff. None of that fit within my budget, 
And what wound up fitting within my budget was ramen and packets of peanut butter. This is definitely a very standard backpacking meal, but it is not a very exciting backpacking meal. I got the Marushan Super Six Pack, which is just the soy flavor. The idea here is that I would make my ramen with these soy sauce flavoring packets that come with it, and then I would add some peanut butter to it. So it'd be a little like peanut noodle thing. In the three categories that I'm judging for value, quality of food, and ease of shopping, as far as value goes, I did go over budget, but that's largely because I had some specific things that I wanted to get, such as Smart Sweets, Go Macro Bars, or coffee. As far as shopping experience goes, honestly, very stressful. It was really hard to find the food that I was looking for, and a lot of it wasn't where I expected it to be. Stressful, did not like, had bad time. As far as health and like excitement around the food, I'm actually pretty excited about the lunch that I got. Not so excited about my oatmeal and my ramen for dinner. But I was able to hit 2,500 calories fairly easily with at least a breakdown of macros that's pretty similar to what I would get from just eating store-bought backpacking meals. And that is Kroger. Let's get going, because we have two more stops to make. Woo! Same sound. Wait! I have to buckle my helmet. Grocery store number two is Trader Joe's. Let's go. There's an absolute plethora of oatmeal options and they're all like three dollars so i'm gonna add some apple chips we are opting for some peanut saute as a definite yes we're getting gummy bears so terrible news we just learned that the trader joe's has no instant coffee right now so i don't know what i'm gonna do for coffee <laughs> but i think maybe probably the answer is nothing i just need something for lunch we're getting some natural original turkey it's a whole new world for me I'm doing math. I'm adding my calories to see if I have enough. Um, oh, we're so close. We still 500 more calories. <laughs> All right, the last thing we're gonna look for is one of my very favorite things to have on a backpacking trip. It's really hard to find, and it's like baby food that doesn't need to be refrigerated. So <laughs> it's been um, 20 minutes now, so way easier to get stuff here than it was at QFC, which is kind of hilarious. <laughs> All right, with that, I think I'm done here. I'm pretty sure I stayed under $50. I definitely stayed under 30 minutes. So let's get in line, because that might be the longest part of this process, is checking out. I'm currently feeling very confident. Oh my gosh, okay. I am going to add these also, and these. <laughs> we're gonna add those, we're gonna add one more, I'm gonna add one more chocolate espresso beans. Dude, that was so easy. Boom. I spent $40.31. Wow. Boom. Can you go and take it? $40.31. So for breakfast, I picked up this protein cinnamon instant oatmeal. This was actually not the cheapest oatmeal that they had. What I really liked about this is that it's pretty high in protein. I liked that it had a cinnamon, like a little bit of a flavor to it, and it didn't have as much sugar in it as I was getting from the like Kroger oatmeal, but it was much higher in protein. I also picked up these apple chips. I was gonna get instant coffee at Trader Joe's, but unfortunately they were totally out of their instant coffee. So instead I got this bag of chocolate covered espresso beans. That is a not a dentist approved addition to your breakfast. But uh, delicious. For my lunch, I got a kind of random assortment of things. I got some Middle Eastern style flatbread, but I didn't actually get anything to go with this, like no sort of dip or hummus or peanut butter or jelly or anything else, just flatbread. So I also got a handful of olives. And then in addition to that, I got one singular packet of Trader Joe's natural beef jerky. And one packet here will actually give me two lunches. For my snacks, I opted for some kiwis. I also got these fruit crushers, apple mango fruit sauce, Apple mango, apple mango, apple mango. What are you doing? Apple mango. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> this is basically baby food, but it's also one of my very favorite things for hiking and backpacking because they're really tasty. They taste really fresh. Apparently that wasn't enough fruit for me because I then also got apple apricot and apple raspberry fruit strips. And I really went heavy on the fruit. I also got myself some chocolate chip cookies. Now for my dinners. I actually wound up getting these noodle boxes. There's no way that I'm gonna pack this box in my backpacking kit. I'll have to open this up and then repackage the stuff that's inside it. Now the downside of this is just how much like waste there is in these packages. That's one thing that Trader Joe's like is just infamous for. Boom. In here we have satay sauce. 
packet of noodles. And then I have my can of wine. I was honestly shocked by how easy it was to shop Trader Joe's and to come away with food that was not only like really high in calories, but also fairly inexpensive and super easy to find. As far as budget goes, super easy to stay under my budget to the point that I was able to buy like more kind of luxurious and like nothing but fun food and a can of wine. As far as time goes, it was very easy to find absolutely everything that I was looking for and I came away with food that I am excited to eat. This is all the food I got from Trader Joe's. Last and final stop, Whole Foods. Woo, woo, Whole Foods. So I pulled off the street to take a short break and talk about this bike that I'm riding around. This is a new e-bike for me, the Velatric Go 1. So there are a couple things that I really love about this bike, but the biggest thing really is that it's so comfortable to ride and it has so much storage on it that it's actually like properly replaced my car for the vast majority of my daily trips. This is actually a class two e-bike, which means that it has pedal assist as well as a throttle, but the pedal assist is actually so good that I've rarely ever used the throttle and the battery life on it is awesome. For the most part, even if I'm riding like upwards of 20 miles, I am barely even depleting the battery halfway. I'm a little bit of a nervous cyclist, and even when there's bike lanes, I find myself being like a little bit tentative when I'm cycling. But with this bike, I actually feel like that is not as much of a problem. There's a couple reasons for that. One is that it's totally upright, and so I can definitely like see really easily where I'm going. And then probably the coolest part about it, in my opinion, is that it has an integrated light. There's actually a light on the front of the bike, as well as a red light on the back of the bike that's powered from the battery. So, Bellatrix Go 1 e-bike. This bike has been fantastic for me. On the back, I already have two bags of groceries, but I actually have one whole additional grocery stop to make. Woo. Zoom, zoom. Kroger this morning really brought down my confidence level, but then I got boosted back up by Trader Joe's, so I'm feeling pretty good about this shopping trip. Let's do this. All right, game plan is to start with dinner food. I feel like that's where I'm gonna have the hardest time staying underneath my budget. So this stuff, this stuff I know I like, this rice ramen, what about these? We have some cauliflower. We're gonna also get some olives and some tortillas. Dude, I'm feeling pretty good about this right now. I don't wanna be overly confident, but I feel like I've gotten much better since this morning. <laughs> it's been 20 minutes and I am moving very slowly. So <laughs> we're trying to speed it up. What's next, what's next? Snacks, breakfast, coffee. Monk pack protein cookies. What are these? These are on sale for a dollar. I think I might be done. Oh, I need coffee still. <laughs> 500 calories short again. <laughs> okay, literally all of the coffee is like $13. Dude, why is instant coffee so freaking expensive? I guess we're just going without caffeine again. I do kind of feel like I failed. And I'm like pretty sure that I went well over my budget. There's no way that I'm under $50. This is really hard. So let's start with the things we know we have to get. Officially hit the halfway point, $25. Ooh, getting nervous. Gosh, I might actually make it. All right, we're at $41, but we're at $49.47. So at Whole Foods, I spent $53.63. I did not stay under budget. So let's start with breakfast. I looked at oatmeal at Whole Foods, but at that point in time, I'd already bought oatmeal twice that day and I wasn't super excited about the options that Whole Foods had or the cost that they were. So I actually opted for bars instead. These Monk Pack cookies are really high in calories. One cookie has 320 calories in it. And then I also got a couple of these bars, which were on sale for only 89 cents, which is super cheap. So for lunch, I decided that I would go with peanut noodles again. It's something that I have really commonly like loved to eat for lunch on backpacking trips. Whole Foods actually has Justin's peanut butter, which is my favorite. And these packets were actually the same price, maybe even a little bit cheaper than they were at Kroger. Now, I didn't wanna just have peanut butter and noodles, especially because I didn't have any kind of sauce to go with that. So I opted to get a container of soy sauce and a container of peanuts. What I would say, if you are not only shopping at one grocery store, or if you're shopping at a grocery store that has like a bulk food section, see if you can source some free packets of soy sauce instead of buying a bottle of soy sauce 
or pre-packed soy sauce from home and see if you can find a bulk section with peanuts so you can only get as many as you need. Moving on to dinner. I wound up just gathering a whole bunch of like different ingredients and different packaged foods that sounded like they'd be good together because that was far cheaper than purchasing like a pre-packaged noodle dish or something more similar to what I wound up getting at Trader Joe's. So here's what I wound up with. Seven grain and lentil blend rice, lupini beans, marinated cauliflower, wild salmon, and crispy shishito peppers. Ta-da! What I really liked about all of these foods is that they're really easy to just eat on their own and don't really require any cooking besides just this rice here. One thing I will say, this stuff is all so super, super heavy. None of this is dehydrated. This rice is partially cooked rice. So this definitely weighs a lot more than just plain dehydrated rice. Whole Foods actually didn't have any instant rice. And so this is what I wound up getting. So I did come in over budget, but not by a lot. And I was able to find food that was healthy and exciting and met my calorie goals. As far as shopping goes, it was actually a really pleasant shopping experience because I had so many choices. So if I hadn't had a time limit, I think it would have been really enjoyable to go through and really like tailor my meals. But because of that time limit, I had to be a bit more strict about my decisions. So between Kroger, Trader Joe's, and Whole Foods, which one of these stores wins my grocery store battle royale? Definitely, without a doubt, and probably not to anyone's surprise, Trader Joe's. I feel like if I had to go one place to get the vast majority of my backpacking food, it would definitely be Trader Joe's. But I would probably wanna supplement that with some of the more staples and basics from Kroger, and then some of the more like fun and healthy things from Whole Foods. But for the sake of this competition, for the sake of this challenge, Trader Joe's is my number one winner. Woo. The thing I would recommend above all else before you go shopping for your backpacking food is to shop your own pantry first. So much of the stuff that I ended up buying was things that I also readily have at home. Things like peanut butter and soy sauce and even like instant rice. Those are all things that are like kind of pantry staples for me. You're also likely to have foods in your pantry at home that you are like used to eating. And so if you base your backpacking meals around that, you're just like overall going to be happier. As a general rule though, if you are trying to make your own backpacking meals for the very first time, I would recommend thinking about it as like a three-part system. So you wanna start with some kind of base, whether that is oatmeal or polenta, rice, noodles, then add in your high calorie and high protein stuff. So that could be peanut butter, it could be beef jerky, it could be fish, it could be tofu or tempeh. And then finally, think about the stuff that you wanna add for flavor. Things like soy sauce or marinated cauliflower. They're not gonna add a ton of calories, but they are gonna make it an exciting food to eat. Ooh, speaking of hunger, my little belly just did a grumble. <laughs> <laughs> After going to all three of these grocery stores, I have put together what I think is the most ideal deal budget backpacking foods that you can get at a grocery store. I'll put that full list in the description below, so go ahead and check that out before you head to the grocery store to pick up your backpacking meals for your next trip. If you liked this video and you have any of your own favorite backpacking meals, make sure you hit the like button and then comment below with what you get at the grocery store when you're shopping for backpacking food. If you haven't yet subscribed to my channel, please go ahead and hit that subscribe button. I have a goal of reaching 100,000 subscribers and I would love it if you were the 100,000th person. With that, I will see you outside. Bye. Is the movie over? <laughs> Did we do it? <laughs> yep.